Hey, I'm Dan from Dan's Pet Care, and today we are going to be talking about 10 household plants that are poisonous to dogs. House plants have been around for as long as we can remember. However, they've recently experienced a surge in popularity with people in their 20s and 30s. Our pet care specialists often work with clients who love their dogs and their plants, but they worry about how to safely combine the two. The word toxic is frequently misunderstood. Some plants can be extremely harmful or fatal to your dog, while others cause skin irritation or digestive upset. However, even non-fatal reactions to house plants can make you and your dog miserable. It's best to play it safe. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the most popular house plants that are unsafe for your dog. Don't worry, there are many alternatives that are completely safe for your pet. Before buying any plant, be sure to do your research or watch this video. First, we're gonna be talking about the pothos. Pothos are one of the most popular house plants in American homes, and it's easy to understand why. They're hard to kill, they grow fast, and they come in an endless array of patterns and varieties. Unfortunately, pothos will cause mouth irritation if your dog decides to lick a leaf or take a bite. If your pet swallows the plant, it will irritate their throat and their digestive tract as well. So if anything does happen, always just check in with your vet. Number two, the jade plant. Jade plants have succulent leaves and a tree-like structure. Ingesting the plant can not only make your dog vomit, but can also cause serious cardiac and neurological symptoms. Again, if they consume this, contact your veterinarian immediately. Number three, the Kalanchoe. Kalanchoe plants come from succulents that are mostly from tropical regions like Africa. They have beautiful tiny flowers that bloom in a variety of colors. However, it's important to keep any variety of Kalanchoe far away from your dog. Not only can they upset your dog's stomach and digestive system, but they can also cause your dog to have an irregular heartbeat. Again, contact your veterinarian. Number four, philodendron. Today, there are hundreds of varieties of philodendron available. Similar to the pothos, these vining plants are easy to care for and fun to collect. However, the leaves contain oxalate, which can severely irritate your dog's mouth. Again, check with your vet if any irritation continues. Number five, the asparagus fern. Asparagus ferns are known for their delicate, soft little needles. They look fern-like, but they're not really members of the fern family. Eating their berries will probably give your dog severe diarrhea. However, even touching the fronds can cause unpleasant skin reactions. So, as with all these plants, contact your veterinarian. Number six, the aloe vera plant. Aloe is known among humans for its amazing healing properties. The thick succulent spikes of an aloe vera plant contain soothing gel-like substances that I have used so many times for my sunburns. However, aloe is one of the most harmful plants for your dog's digestive tract. If your dog ingests this plant, you may be in for a very expensive trip to the emergency vet. Contact your veterinarian right away. Number seven. Ivy. Ivy grows abundantly in the wild on telephone poles, building, and trees. However, certain varieties are often brought indoors as houseplants. English ivy is one of the most common types found in homes. If your dog encounters ivy, they may have a severe skin reaction. In some cases, ivy can cause neurological symptoms that can become fatal always contact your vet. Number eight, poinsettia. Poinsettias are popular in December as seasonal decor thanks to their bright red leaves. A poinsettia is unlikely to kill your dog, but tasting it can give your dog enough vomiting and diarrhea to put a damper on the holiday spirit. As always, check in with your vet. Number nine, Sansevieria. This popular houseplant comes in many varieties and is known for its distinctive vertical shape. Also known as a snake plant, Sansevieria don't require much watering and are hard to kill. They're not typically fatal to dogs but they do cause nausea and discomfort if eaten. Again, contact your vet. Number 10, rubber plants are small trees with thick dark green leaves. They can cause a variety of symptoms if your dog gets too curious, including skin irritation, neurological problems, and vomiting. And that was 10 house plants that are poisonous to dogs. I'm Dan from Dan's Pet Care. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to share it with friends, family, and loved ones. And we'd always appreciate a follow and a subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.